G'day everyone, Matt Elder Family Bricks here, and I'm going to show you today how you can take the Ahsoka brick head with the lightsabers which came standard, and just by adding a few micro LEDs and a 9 volt battery pack, you can achieve this. This is rather inexpensive and doesn't take long. You can do this with a bit of know-how in less than 10 minutes. This video is brought to you by McCatsum Holiday Homes in Margate and Broadstairs. Great for a week's holiday or a weekend escape, being just over an hour east of London, UK. Treat yourself to amazing sunsets, a Lego wall, or great food. Visit www.macatsim.com and mention this YouTube video and we'll look after you. So here you can see a lightsaber blade, which I've already put a little light in and made with some wires. And these are just the standard lightsaber blades which came in this brick head. So there's nothing special you need to get for it. Some of the other pieces that you're going to need is one of these micro LED lights. So it's really tiny. And then on the end of this one, I have a resistor and then just have a couple of drill bits. This will drill all the way through the lightsaber. This will just help counter sink the light a little bit. Uh, solder, flux, drill, little thing to help hold it. And then it's all powered off just one of these generic uh, nine volt battery packs with a couple of wires going off it. So literally all we've done here is the battery pack here. We've just taken the micro LED, soldered them on there. And when we fed the micro LED through, we obviously couldn't fit the resistor through. So we had to cut that off and then solder it back on. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take one of these little hobby drill bits and just drill from both ends so I can get a hole continuous going all the way through. There you can see the hole which has gone all the way through. I'm just going to cut the resistor off this micro LED so I can feed that through that hole that we just drilled. When I cut this off I want to leave enough though so if I make mistakes I can keep on adjusting this. So now I just feed this through the hole that we drilled just to make sure that it all works. So I've now fed that all the way through and if I just put that light all the way in, when you go to put the lightsaber blade on, obviously you've got that micro light now taking up a bit of space, which it can stay on, but it's really flimsy, so there's not much gripping actually in here, so it's going to pop off pretty easily. So that's why I want to take just a slightly bigger drill bit and just make a place in there for the micro light to sit into. So then the blade can sit in there properly. It doesn't need much because if you drill too much in, then if you go too far back, it's obviously all going to fall off and not be strong enough at all. But also too, the further in the light goes, the further or the less bright it's going to make the actual blade. So you can see now that's really sitting back there. So when I take the actual lightsaber blade length and put it in you know it can fit in snugly as it usually does and then I can just go over and test oh, no, I can't I've got to put the resistor back on if I was to put this on now without the resistor there's a good chance that micro LED light would blow here just going through and stripping the wire back and then using these little helping hands to go through and solder the resistor back onto the part which had taken off earlier. Links around the video for some of the parts used in putting these lights into these lightsaber blades. Okay I've now soldered the resistor back on there so we can just do a quick test to see whether or not it's all working before we go and solder the rest of it back on. So you see the blade there. So that's all ready to do the next bit. So now just going through and soldering the red end of the battery onto the red end of the light and then the black end of the battery onto the black end of the light. And you can see me there just every once in a while tapping the solder down into a little bit of flux just to make sure you can get all the right heat. And there we have it, our little Ahsoka brick head with the lightsabers that came in the pack. Uh, a couple of the micro lights, a generic 9 volt battery, some solder. Very cool little effect there. And here is Ahsoka in amongst my other lights for Star Wars sets. UCS, X-Wing, Jedi training, and my own custom lights for Endor. 
Thanks very much for watching, and if you leave the word Jedi in the comments, we'll know you've watched this far. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel, and a share never goes astray. Here are some other lighting videos you might be interested in. Alternatively, here are some other videos you might also like to watch. That's it from us here at Family Bricks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.